everyone, this is Pastor Britt Strohecker at New Beginnings Church in Middletown, Pennsylvania. It is a Monday morning, the Monday right after Easter, and I hope you're all having a good day. Some of you may have the day off today, so if you are off today, uh, enjoy. Um, today we're going to continue our study closer to God, and my voice might be a little weird because uh, once again I picked up a cold somewhere along the way and um, trying to beat this cold out. Seems like this year has been the year of sickness for me, so just need to get well. And I'll work on that. But we're going to be reading now from Mark chapter 4, starting at the 26th verse and going up to verse 29. This is the illustration of the growing seed. Jesus also said, Here is another illustration of what the kingdom of God is like. A farmer planted seeds in a field, and then he went on with his other activities. As the days went by, the seeds sprouted and grew without the farmer's help, because the earth produces crops on its own. First a leaf blade pushes through, then the heads of wheat are formed, and finally the grain ripens. And as soon as the grain is ready, the farmer comes and harvests it with a sickle. All right, so what is Jesus talking about here? This is an illustration showing us, the followers of Christ, that we're a work in progress. Every day we get up and we have breath and a heartbeat, there's a purpose for that day. And we have maturing to do each day. We should be walking with the Lord each day because he sees us as this work in progress. So he plants the seed and then we're born and then we get into the world and uh, we're on our own to seek out and grow uh, as our choices lead us. And God is just hoping that our choices will always put him first and foremost in our life. Because when the harvest time comes, then the farmer's going to come around with the sickle and harvest the grain. And he's going to look at to see who produced good fruit and he's going to keep that those plants and the chaff and all the things that didn't produce he's just going to throw away and burn up and this is kind of an illustration of what it's going to be like on judgment god's going to take a look at everybody's lives and he's going to look to see what kind of fruit did we produce in our life did we produce good fruit or didn't we produce anything the ones that produce good fruit will be rewarded for their efforts while on the other hand the ones that didn't are going to be the ones that are cast aside or thrown out or thrown into the fire. So this is one of many illustrations that Jesus uses to tell us about the coming judgment, that we will stand before God and be held accountable for the things that we did with our life during the day. So uh, during the days that we had here on earth. So pay close attention to things like this. Are you allowing the Lord to mature you and develop you in your faith? Is your faith producing good fruit in the world? Or are you one of the ones that's kind of going your own way and not producing fruit and is going to be in danger of being part of the chaff and the, the unproductive plants that are cast aside and thrown into the fire on the day of judgment? Jesus gives these illustrations because he wants us to be ones that produce fruit. In fact, Jesus' whole life shows that he would have rather die than lose any of us. That's why he went to the cross. He took our place at the cross. He didn't want to lose us to death from our sin. He wanted to save us from sin so that we are able and have that second chance to produce fruit in our life. Well, I know this segment today is a little shorter than others, uh, but I'm feeling under the weather, like I said. But I wanted to get this story out there because it's important for us to consider. Are we producing fruit in our life or are we in danger of being thrown out with the chaff? Something to think about. I hope everyone has a blessed day.